Hello Nuggets, it's Nikki here today. It's empties video time. This is the third one that I've ever done. I had my pink basket full of my empties products. So I thought I would go through them all for you and let you know my thoughts. The first product that I'm getting rid of is the Sugar Crush Body Wash by Soap and Glory. I got this for Christmas. I've still got a little bit of the product left. But I've been using the Clean On Me scent more and I do have a bigger version of this. This um, is really, really fruity. It's got limes in it. Um, really good uh, body wash. Smells really nice. And yeah, so that's that one. The next product that I've used up is Imperial Leather Foam Bear Spicy Ginger and Orange. I also think I might have maybe one or two washes left out of this, but to be honest with you, I was just getting a bit fed up of it, so I thought I'd get rid of it. Next product is my Garnier Micellar Water. I've repurchased this. This is something that I couldn't be without. You've heard me go on about it in my videos, guys. It is absolutely fantastic for um, to cleanse your face, to get rid of any eye makeup to do that first or second cleanse so if you're in the market for one I would highly recommend. Next empty is the Body Scrub Raspberry from the Body Shop and this was just absolutely fantastic you can still smell it. it smells of raspberries, it looks like raspberry jam and I think it was one of my favourite scrubs that I've used so I would definitely recommend and I would definitely repurchase. Going on from the raspberry range, I also finished the raspberry shower gel, which I really enjoyed as well. Same scent, really nice products, cost about £4 and if you need a body shop then I would highly recommend. Next product is a shampoo and it's the... Garnier Ultimate Blends, the Sleek Restorer. Um, I really, really enjoyed this shampoo. I'm currently trying the orange one at the moment. Um, I can't remember what it's for. Um, but yeah, this smells of coconut and cocoa butter. I'm currently finishing the conditioner. And yeah, I definitely would repurchase it. It's for dry and frizzy hair, which I have. And yeah, you can get it really cheap. It's usually on offer like places like Boots and Superdrug or Asda, places like that, so yeah. Next product I'm getting rid of is a deodorant, and this is a Nivea Fresh 48 hour deodorant. It's one of them um, Roland's. I really, really, I like this, um, but to be honest with you, I've had it for about three years, and I think it's time for it to, time for it to go to deodorant heaven, because I've got like a few more. I used to have a few on the go, so I'm getting rid of that. Next product is a condition, a shampoo, and it's an argan oil shampoo, which is from Poundland. For the price of it, guys, this is really, really good. It um, nourishes and nour nourishes and moisturises, leaving hair shiny, smooth, and healthy. So I can't speak today properly. So yeah, that was a pound. If you need a pound, then go in, check it out. I think they do small sizes now as well, which is great for travelling. Another product that I've used is the Fab Pore Hot Cloth Cleanser from Soap and Glory. This has currently changed its name to the Ultimelt, which I've got in the bathroom. One of my favourite hot cloth cleansers. Absolutely fantastic. Smells of lavender, really soothing on the skin. Leaves your skin feeling really clean and fresh. And it's definitely one that I would highly recommend.